or years, I think, the Hartman Institute was working on Israel engagement in America. And the Israeli side of it was kind of neglected. And in general, the Israeli society never developed receptors for this engagement. Um, so the aim of this research group is to develop the, the basic thinking or the Torah mm -hmm. um, um, of those relationships. What's the base for them? And now it's, it, it sounds, you know, obvious. Uh, we are all one people. What do you need to talk about? But it's not so obvious for a couple of reasons. First, for years, Zionism was very much based on um, Shlilat Agola. How do you say that? Uh, negation of the diaspora. Yeah, the negation of the diaspora means that to be Zionist and to live abroad is kind of opposite. Um, can we develop Zionism, which is not based on that? Now, it's not only the negation of the diaspora, it's only kind of well, it's also kind of paradox because Israel, when Israel was established, so on one hand, we want, we don't want diaspora. We want all the Jews to come to Israel. On the other hand, we need a strong diaspora. We can rely on economically, uh, for security reasons, for lobbying, diplomacy, things like that. So we, we don't need, but we need. And, and, and this paradox is really in the basis of Zionism, one reason. The other is that I think if you look sincerely on, on the situation, um, American jury and Israel jury is, is, is heading a very different direction. Let's put it that way. Um, and we are part of big international crisis that puts democracy and liberalism as two opposites. Democracy in the sense of uh, the majority um, make decisions versus, you know, human rights, minorities' rights, things like that. And you can see it all over the world, okay? Now, part of it is also negation of, of nationalism. Israel as a national state is in one side of this crisis. American Jewry as a strong minority, very sensitive to minorities' rights, is in the other side of, of this crisis. Now, can we build a strong enough Jewish solidarity to overcome this, you know, this gap? We're, we're in the midst of it. We didn't choose it. it that's, you know, that's the spirit of, of the time. Um, but we need to be able to get over it, otherwise we wouldn't continue to be one people. And we are in, if we are not one people, so who are we? That's, you know, that's the base of Judaism. So, so that's, that's this research group aim. Um, and it's going to be interesting because it's, it's going to be focused toward Israeli education system. Israeli pre-academy, Mechinot uh, students. Um, what we hope to the research to feed the field. It's not supposed to be, you know, thinkers who write beautiful essay, but it's supposed really to feed the educational programs of, of, the, of Hartman and hopefully uh, also to help other organizations that work on the issue, because in the last two years, there is really, a, a, since the Kotel, um, the Kotel Agreement fell apart, uh, all of a sudden, the Israeli society realized that, wow, something, something here is wrong, because it's a strong reactions coming from, from the US, US Europe. So first time ever, this issue made headlines, not, for a long time, but you know, and, and more Israelis become aware that there is a problem and there is a boom of, of organizations at work try to do things to overcome, you know, that, to bridge the gap. We want to be the place that develop the Torah, that 
gives them a deeper base to their work. We're talking here about the need, the political need, um, spiritual need, for me it's an existential need because what's, what we're talking about the unity of the Jewish people and I, I feel there is a really danger for them. Can you pinpoint a date or two that identify the time when North American and Israeli Jewry, at least leadership, began to split apart? The Iranian deal, from the Israeli's perspective. Um, many Israelis felt that um, if in this critical moment they don't back the Israeli prime minister, so where are they when we need them, on one hand. On the other hand, when the, is when the Kotel Agreement collapsed, after the Israeli government signed it, after all those years of process, after everything, when uh, we changed our mind and without even saying anything officially, just, um, how do you say that? <laughs> slap in the face. Slap in the face. So it was a big slap in the face for the leadership level, and rightly so. Um, and I, I must say, in this issue, I totally take the American side. I think that in the Iranian deal, um, some Israeli decision makers, something changed. They, they kind of felt um, betrayed. Do you have a timeline for coming up with products or research or materials that can be made public? And we think we can make the next uh, minister decide that every Israeli student uh, at the ninth grade need to have half a year or something. I don't know. Um, learning about that country.